Hello Virgo, welcome to your Astro Flower reading here. Uh, going between the 20th through to um, 25th of uh, November. Yeah, we're moving from Scorpio season into um, to Sagittarius season. So, uh, ooh, a lot of things going on for you on the relationship side here. A real putting things back into perspective for you, I think, more than anything else. Uh, giving you a lot of sort of healing, a lot of sort of like um, squaring things up. That's what I think it seems like. On your financial side here, there's there's some sort of offering ah, a new job maybe for coming in for you in, in life. Uh, giving you a new purpose by the looks of things. Um, um, could be um, like a learning curve that you're going through at the moment um, or you're going towards. It might be a case of that, I've got leaves all over the place. It just keeps, wind keeps blowing and everything like that at the moment. It's quite mad. Um, so, yeah, it could well be on your financial side that if you're going to want all these possibilities, you're going to have to do some sort of like, um, it could be some sort of education or something like that. Something that you've got to regroup yourself. That's what I'm getting off of here. On the overall energies, you get the Four of Swords. I think this is... The energies here is trying to sort of like um, regrouping you from the past. I think it's like it's distilling this pain and burying it. That's what it's doing for you, I think, here. I think it's um, something that's painful that was could have been, I think, mainly to do with your relationship side. Something from the past that's painful um, that you are sort of putting end to. And getting solace from it because of it. Um, with the um, on your karmic path, you get the nine of swords, nine of wands, um, healthy boundaries, and I think this is what this has done. This has taught you as well. Uh, these healthy boundaries are natural, naturally in place. You don't have to go looking to sort of say to people, no. Just energy is going to do that all by themselves if you uh, open up to uh, enjoying life, basically, uh, by the looks of it. The universe here is bringing you the three of wands. Now I've got to say, on this, um, you've got two threes and two fours here uh, on this on this table, and this is all about sort of going from um, channeling energy um, into an idea, or channeling it into a force or direction, and giving you a lot of clarity and, and squaring things off, basically. Uh, to put it into action, that channeling of that, whatever it's been. Um, in your past and your relationship side, and connecting your past to your future, I think you've done a huge amount of um, understanding about your life, about who you are, what is best for you, what is best for the people that are around you, how you connect with other people, and all the bad stuff you're sort of like burying away, I think. Because um, you don't need it anymore, uh, by the looks of things. In your future... Well, the thing that's carrying you on at the moment is you get this Ace of Ace of Pentacles, a very lucky card, um, but it's also about activities. I think within your relationship side now, it's now bringing a new phase of connecting with the other person or the people that are around you on a very physical level. Um, through could be through activities. Uh, it could also be moving to a similar sort of place or. Um, you know, um, sort of, uh, sort of going in the same sort of direction, or it could be even a learning curve here, a spiritual learning curve as well, um, and it could be to do with spiritual practices uh, of how you do, how you engage with life that helps you to connect to this other person, because there seems to be a lot of that going on, um, and what is coming out of this is harmony within you. So there is a degree of spirituality here, a degree of putting yourself on this uh, pathway which is um, taking you to a place of serenity. Uh, and this could be within your partnership as well, within your relationship. Uh, and this is where I think activities are quite important for you at the moment. Um, I, you know, connecting with the other person in a, in a, in a whole new way. Uh, you know, on a, on a very physical level. Um, on your uh, financial side, you get the four of wands. 
Four swords is on your overall energies. Four of wands. You have to embrace this new thing. And this could be a new job. This could be a new business. This could be a new project. It could be buying a house or something like that. Uh, but whatever it is, it's, it's making a connection or a, um, uh, a tie with uh, another company or another person or another business. Or, um, and it's, it's marrying your ideals with the ideals of another. And it could be the ideals could be of this company and etc. as I'm talking about. But there's a definite thing where it's in your karmic path to now go ahead and get it. Uh, go and get that job or go and do whatever you're going to do. The universe here is giving you the eight of swords because I think the eight, I think they've sort of, the universe is sort of saying, okay, it's over, stop waiting around, get on and do it. Free yourself up, I think, more than anything else. Um, on your past to your future, you've got the page of swords. Um, page of swords, stimulating ideas. I think you've been stimulating a lot of ideas. You're very good at that, Virgo. You're very good at creating ideas and everything like that and starting them off and, and start moving them forward and stuff like that. The, the, the difficult thing for Virgo, and this is why we need everybody else, this is why it's good to work with other people in teams and so forth, because uh, there's some other people that, you know, there's like fixed signs that are very good at actually putting it into place uh, and what have you. This is why it's always good to work with other people. But I think you're, the ideas that are coming to, coming to forth have actually now within you around you is giving you a lot of possibilities a lot of financial possibilities a lot of possibilities of of financial gain uh also you know jobs uh businesses whatever it is you're 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 which you're working at the moment um it seems like there's there's a lot of possibilities and it comes through communication which you're really good at the thing is you've You've got to be a little bit wary here, and I think this is what this Seven of Swords is all about, playing smart. I think there's a case here that uh, you, you can't have your cake and eat it all. I think there's a bit of this around you, and I think there's a case of like where you have to be, and this is where it's quite difficult for the Virgo. Uh, Virgo likes to do a lot, multitude of different things, like most Earth signs. Uh, much as Tauruses and Capricorns. Um, but at the same time here, it's not trying to take on too much. I think you've got to choose or recognise which one of those um, opportunities are ripe at the moment for you. Um, and that's what the playing smart in the future is all about. Converting these ideas into reality is a really good thing. Excuse me a second, I just have to call my dog back. So yeah, there you go Virgo. Let's just have a little clarification with the Lightseers cards, shall we? Uh, we do do lives on this channel. We've also got a sister channel, Cymatic TV. All links in the description uh, below. Uh, you can show lots of different support, which I much appreciate for this channel. Um, yes, let's just go straight on here. Four of Swords, what are you burying? What are you healing from? This could be a kind of like, it could be a healing from a case of, in the past, um, you, you might have let your emotions get the better of you. And I think this is both within your material side as much as in your relationship side. And I think this is what you're learning here. And I think this is part of the healing process here. That if you want to create things going forwards, you've really got to, um, you've really got to um, have a certain discernment with your emotions, basically, more than anything else. And that's maybe what that sort of um, nine of wands is all about, which you get the devil card with. And I think the devil is in the detail. Try not to be obsessive about sort of situations. I think that's a, like a healthy boundaries uh, for you. Uh, you know, you're so passionate, Virgo. It's unbelievable. Uh, and when you engage in that passion, there's no holding you back. It's just like, woo! You go flying off, and it, maybe it's best if you didn't, you know, that sort of thing. I think you've got to sort of like concentrate your, your, your direction, basically. With the three of ones, you get the star card. Yeah, I think the universe here is sort of saying, now with this healing process that's going on uh, with inside you, what the energy is bringing to you, I think the universe here is sort of saying, 
What are you waiting for, Virgo? What are you waiting for? You know, it could end tomorrow for everybody. And you'd only be disappointed that you didn't do it. So I think the universe is, the message from the universe there is sort of saying, what are you waiting for? What's this three of what sort of, three of pentacles all about? Let's just see what's going on with that. You get temperance, patience. Yeah, I think that's basically, that ties into that a little bit of what you're waiting for, uh, Virgo. I think here is where you have been patient and maybe it's a case of you've done that really good work on yourself and that's what your patience has been about. And you, I think you've been patient with life, not necessarily with yourself or with the world around you. I think you've been patient about finding the best way to sort of the rhythm of life of which suits you best. Uh, and I think you've got that now, and it's now a case of going ahead and doing it. Yeah, look at that, Knight of Knight of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. Don't hold back, Virgo. Get Allow your passions to um, flow through. Engage um, with a singular thing. So this is where I said here earlier on about sort of being, pay attention to, you know, your passions. Don't get too carried away uh, and so forth. Um, that is that healthy boundaries. I think it's a case of maybe it's not a case of it's not a case of just calming your passions down in all over the place. I think it's a case of concentrating your passions, and this is what this is about as well. This healing process is concentrating your energy into one direction, um, and this is the direction for you in your relationship side. It's built upon something that's very physical and very passionate, um, and it could be a combined passion with you and a partner, or you and a group of people. Uh, it could be a case of um, that you adore cooking or photography, um, or you adore photography and somebody else adores cooking, and then you end up doing a, you know, cookery book together with taking photographs of what you cook it. You know that sort of thing. It's really getting involved and and concentrating your sort of like passions and your connections with someone else around you. Yeah, you get the four of um, you get the four of wands, which you've got now twice. It may be a case here, you get it with the King of Cups here, and this could well be marriage. You could be marrying a Pisces um, or, a, or Cancer. Uh, that's very possible. Um, even, a, even a Scorpio, really. Um, but at the same time, uh, you seem to be connecting with someone that is around you that makes you feel very calm, very in tune with yourself. Uh, but it's also got... Um, it's making you feel like celebrating your relationship with the other person. There you go. <coughs> that sort of thing. Okay, let's just see what's going on on the financial side. What's this opportunities? These bundle of opportunities, what are they all about? With the um, Four of Wands, you've got the Hermit card here. So that's a learning process. The Hermit there knows a lot about themselves. And it's about time you start allowing that sort of like um, energy to go flowing through and uh, converting it into your life. Um, and it's, it almost feels like a teacher's role here. Um, it's nurturing in a way, uh, I think here, uh, and combining, you know, with this new job, it's getting in alignment with your values with another, and it's like you're teaching them and they're teaching you. That's how it sort of feels like. With with the eight of swords, you get the two of swords. It's a choice here. I think the universe is sort of saying, are you going to choose to move, uh, Virgo? Are you going to move? Are you going to do it? Are you going to take one of those ideas and turn them into, into something a lot, more, um, a lot more concrete, as it were? With the Page of Swords, you get the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I think this is where the healthy boundaries come into place as well. As I say, I think you've got lots of ideas um, and lots of possibilities within your life. And sometimes it's difficult converting them into reality. Uh, and I think this is where you've got to be a little bit selective more than anything about, about what you put your life and your energies and your finances into and everything like that. With the Nine of Pentacles, all those possibilities, the hyphen knows how to get up to that possibility, up to that star card there. Uh, so they know the steps that they need to take. And I think this is maybe what someone that's coming into your life that's helping you to streamline or focus your um your possibilities in one direction uh and it's making you play a lot smarter basically 
It's making you learning a lot from them. They're learning a lot from you. I think this is a beautiful exchange with the Ace of Swords at the top of the dial with the, um, with the Seven of Swords. Playing smart is going to bring you enormous amounts of victory. It's going to bring you enormous amounts of abundance as well um, within your life. It's, it looks very, very strong direction. If you take the time to observe, uh, learn, and um, have a sort of... Um, it's not rules and regulations, but a certain discernment with yourself, a certain um, uh, a, a line of a line of a line of direction that doesn't need to be crossed. Basically, a bit of control over yourself more than anything else over your passions, which are absolutely beautiful, Virgo. But if you streamline and put them down one in one direction, I think you're going to get a lot more out of life. Um, so there you go. Thank you very much for being here with us. I hope you do uh, get a lot out of these readings. Um, and yes, I do appreciate all the support you give this channel in the meantime. Uh, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.